Problem is, will let you know when a character he expresses disdain for a character, and that means that's the fuel for him to really grind out that matchup. Now, obviously, we were talking about before, David. Um, it is the question of he's got two amazing options against mm. Karen. Alex got buffed. Bison got buffed as <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. Um, but I think in terms of comfortability. He might stick with the Bison. When he was playing Phenom earlier in the Battle Lounges, he was playing Bisons. But he might throw everybody off and he might pick Alex. More vitality, more stun, you know, more flexibility with the V-Triggers as well. So, I mean, it could be an interesting choice here. I really like both of those characters this season. I think that, well, I've liked them, especially Bison, for quite a while. Of course, it's been strong and, mm. and very fun and very interesting. I think that Alex has been unleashed in a very interesting way as well. We're not going to see him here. It's okay, going to be Bison. Cool. That makes a lot of sense. It will be Bison versus Karen. When they have played in the past, it's been Problem X taking 89% win rate well, versus I mean, one step late. Last CPT, they won. Uh, Problem X won 3-0. Yep. Quite sound. Is very clinical performance there. Hey, Whoa. Uh -oh. Okay. That was a very surprisingly bad start there from one step. Settle it down. I, I think I know what he tried to do. He wanted to get in his head early, right. but uh, you're not going to catch him off guard. But he gets a 60, and look what happened when he was a successful hit pace. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> He's, he's impatient. He's antsy about something. He's very movement. He's, he's very intent about moving forward. Because the way you played Karen before, yes, we know, it's obvious. Everybody and their mum knows about it. Karen got toned down. She's slightly weaker than she was before. I still think she's strong and one of the strongest fundamental characters in the game. But how you played last year, you can't do that again. I think that's what he's worried about. He doesn't want to play neutral with Problem X. Well, he's not doing that right now as he's had fantastic pressure. The interruption comes and Problem X is super activate. Oh, he's a little tech fair. There's a super activate. Well, come on, grab yet, because he, he doesn't know if he's going to do reset. The backdash, very nicely spotted by one step Laird, moving just out of range with Punish. So it was a burst of offense, but then at the end, it was actually neutral that took it for him. I think he's gone for the haphazard approach. Uh, very unpredictable. Uh, there's going to be a couple of arbitrary like decisions being made here and there, but if this guy wants to throw him off, and he's going to integrate every option under the sun to try and make sure Problem X doesn't get the first game. No Punish. There's the knee press. Delayed throw. And he's playing it safe because he doesn't know when EX Resenna is going to be let off. And he wow. dashes again, David. Yeah, you're right. Very unpredictable movement. Saving trigger. Here hit. we go. Interruption. Yeah, he was going for the plus. Okay, come on, Brad. Load it up. If he gets his wrong, that might be it. It's still on him. Back throw. That it might have released the detonator. Yeah, delay. Yeah, that's it, buddy. Uh, that was sick. Do not worry. Problem X has said this before. He said, if you counter something, there's always a contingency. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a contingency. Oh. He wanted the, the idea. Order. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shift. Still there is one step. Okay. Stun. Working on stun. See, Problem the, X is going to be in trouble. And the one thing that's interesting about this, he gone to a reset. How to shimmy him? No dice. Huh. You could lose the game from this. Maybe a few decisions in. still. Supers there. Problem can't do stand fist. That's punishable. You could do your super. He's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. Uh oh, one step player just maybe getting frozen in the corner. Frozen. On, Problem X feels it too. He's not gonna do it. No, he's gonna hang. The bomb. The bomb. The bomb. The bomb. Oh. Yo! Oh my, <laughs> David! I cannot believe it. He banked what? on the season one classic gimmick, it. and it was just about enough time for the bomb to not detonate. My word. I mean, if your problem is in that situation, you're expecting the bomb about to explode. It's just about to be your turn. Why do anything? And Why you know hang what? out, right? Because super was activated, the bomb didn't matter. But because he hit and then got into super, the bomb didn't activate, and it was all one step layer. The only thing I can think of here is he was going to cancel into super anyway to get the invincibility to remove yeah, yeah, the bomb. Yeah, yeah. That's the be, only be. thing I can think of. But my word, that unpredictable haphazard approach. I tell you what, it worked for one game. <laughs> Could we have? Oh, all of these huge names in loser's side in the UK CPT. Do you know what, David? We I, could. I had a hunch. I think it, because he, his player quote was that he said Phenom and Problem were playing, I think he said, I'm going against the grain. I think he saw what Phenom was doing, and he said, I'm going against the grain. He threw him off so completely. Oh, like, it did jumping. work. All right, Mujinjaku in the corner, maybe one or two throws. Gets a tick throw. Here's the activation. Jimmy. Yep, just the grab. That's okay. He's still in here. Probably. Oh, Actually, yo, that could have no. been a big oh, yeah. punish. You, clearly, the idea was there. And yeah, here's no. Problem X taking a round that was dominated through long stretches by One Step Laird. So here's the thing. That situation, I think One Step Laird is going to be a little bit more attentive and a little bit more calm about because every time he's got hard knockdown scissors, Problem's going to delay throw because he doesn't know when x is going to be let off. But let off there. And he did it again. Okay. I'm not mad at that. 
It's, it, very, it fits very much with his playstyle so far. All right, substantial life lead here for Problem X. One step lay is going to be highly aggressive to try and reduce that deficit very quickly. All right. Just safe fundamental stuff right now for Problem X. Very footsies based. Just putting up a small wall. Yeah, look, that was just a classic closeout kind of play from Problem X. See, now here's, here's my concern. He's already gone. He's gone for the wild card. Yeah. You know, the arbitrary approach. It, it got him the game. You did. And now that he's One kind game. of, yeah, now that he's kind of like adapted and mitigated that, it's like, okay, now what you're, else? Stuck, you're stuck within a rock and a hard place. It's Give like, me do, something else, right? Do, like, yeah, I, and the thing is, Karen, Karen's not that kind of character, David. Mm. I don't think she's that kind of character. The only thing she really got outside of the normals being toned down was corner combo consistencies. It fixed them. But the way he was playing, it's like you had him in the corner, but you weren't getting those clean hits you deserve. So uh, he's doing it again. Yep, yep. Yeah, this is Problem X getting a great read on what the opponent likes to do. There we go, yeah, to make back throw again. You, you, listen, you can't shimmy Bison. <laughs> you got to be very careful. See it back off. It was not pressure, actually, by Problem X because he feels so confident in that neutral game. Again, backing off. Why not? He's comfortable. This is a very scared approach from one step later. It's very scary. He's frightened of a lot of things. Oh, and not even getting that either. Here we go now. Grab. It's going to be a for pressure. The reversal. Well timed, but you still got to have to deal with the activation. It's still there. Come on, grab. And it's going to be for the game. Is he going to let off a Resenha? Is he going to wait? He waits. Just hoping for a knockdown. Didn't happen. No, yeah. He wanted to see something. Right, right. Again, Problem X in that instance right there, it wasn't intense up close pressure. It was just a cage. He just felt confident in that spot. He's at match point. Yeah, it's, hit, it's hit and hope at this point. One step later, he's doing a lot of spraying and praying. And we're going in blind. I don't know if he can kind of readjust his game plan. Kind of go back to square one here, but it's not looking good. Scissors again. He's been very successful with that. Most of the scissors have hit. I think like one or two then like whiffed the block. So. Here we go. Knocked down. Okay, not much. It's the V-break though. The reversal again, push to the corner. It's backs off again. Yeah, outside of scissors range. Nice, he's ready. Do you know that was brilliant? That 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 spacing awareness, that spatial awareness yeah, that was, was fantastic. Yep. It wasn't completely optimal. No! Again! We've seen it twice now that he backs See? out of range and also another out of scissors. Here's pressure. This is the thing. He, he, he knows he can play this matchup to a certain degree, so I'm not sure. The strategy was he was trying to employ earlier was. And now it's him who's just looking for his individual closeout hits. He dashes it anyway when Problem thought it was about patience. Suddenly it was offense and now it's match point both. You know what's crazy? He's made the scissors and uh, sweep whiff. Yes, so that's making three problem, times. That's, yeah, that's making Problem walk forward and that's why right. that's where he's dashing. Yeah, I really like that approach. Yeah, just that back dash right there. He might jump in a minute. I don't know. If he wants to really mix it up, he might have to jump hey. and he gets shimmy. This is again. Not into much. Oh, okay, all of a sudden he's hunting for up close pressure. Big damage, stun on the next one. He's not blocking. Right. Problem, what a change in gameplay. You look at that round right there, that closeout, mm -hmm. and how he closed out the previous game that he won. Completely different styles. The previous one that he won was just about mid-range. It was just about individual hits. That one, he could get the sense, I think, that the opponent was uncertain about how to approach a sudden bit of offense. Now, you might not agree with everybody's philosophy or their strategy of the way they play the game, but having a strategy is better than having no strategy at all. Sure. He came with something. Okay, yes, I, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I think it was a bit messy, um, but because that is very uncharacteristic of him and Karen as a character, but it shows that it can work for one game. But I think he went into this knowing it's a first to two, so I might as well try and run this out. Because when he tried to, if you go back and look, you could, anybody at home watching this, you can go back and watch these two play in the second and final CPT we had last year, and it was a first to three. And you can see the complete turnaround, understanding the, the gravity of the situation. This is what's very important in brackets and watching the players play. It's understanding the gravity of the situation. What, it, what are they playing for? What's on the line? Top eight qualification spot in winner's side. Is it first to two or is it first to three? It's first to two. So again, Close, but no cigar. And I think Problem X will tell you the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got me, but you didn't. And like you said, David, that last round is probably how Problem X expected or envisioned the round to go from round start. They got hit with a little bit of surprise. A sucker punch yeah. is what we call it. Yeah, but well, um, When you're at that level, you have to be able to make the changes and adapt, and he absolutely did that.